Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. My name is Coach Shadongs to Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park predictions video. This is the early 2022 predictions for Cedar Fair theme parks. Now, be warned, you are going to see a lot of off years. However, there is a few parks that I have done proper predictions for. This is just early predictions, so of course these can change. There's a couple of parks that may prepare for the additions for the following year, 2023, but we'll go on to them and why I think that in a little bit. Uh, but before we get started, guys, make sure you like the video, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe, cut the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Get in the description down below where you can find Google Forms to suggest your content ideas and video suggestions. Also, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, and also the Discord server where you, yes, you, the Coast Shell fan base, can be a part of the Chal Nation and interact with other Coast Shell fans on the server. And for now, guys, let's have a look through my Cedar Fair 2022 early predictions. So starting off with California's Great America, and this is the first of the parks that I think will have an off year. Uh, we're looking here in terms of off year at changes around the park, paint tops, TLC, refurbishments, uh, little changes here and there, little adjustments here and there. That's what the, the general basis of what we're looking at here is. Uh, but I think California's Great America is one of many parks in this predictions video, in this early predictions video, uh, that's going to have an off year in terms of making adjustments, especially since they're uh, going to be opening this year their South Bay Shores water park. So again, I think it's it makes sense to have an off year, really. Next up, Canada's Wonderland. Again, we're looking at an off year. Changes, TLCs, the and a family ride they're adding something to the water park this year so again just making little changes however this is where preparation comes into effect because i think that canada's wonderland will add a brand new roller coaster in 2023 and the reason why i've gone with that is because you've got to think their last coaster will have been yukon striker which is a good four years and you know it's a good few years since yukon striker at that time and we're looking here at probably a mat launch coaster. I think something like a Copperhead Strike uh, along that Timberwolf Falls site at Canada's Wonderland would be brilliant for that park. Absolutely brilliant. And it would be a really nice, thrilling addition to the park. And I think the preparation over the 2022 season would make sense for this particular investment of the park. Next up, Carowinds. And this one's a very easy prediction, actually, because I've gone with the rumour, um, and I've sort of gone with that and think, well, hang on a minute, this could actually happen for 2022. I think they're going to turn that Dinosaurs Alive site into an antique car ride. Just look at what Kings Island did uh, with their antique car ride edition a couple of years ago, a few years ago. So you look at what they did with the antique car ride there, I think uh, Carowinds are going to go in that same direction. They're going to add an antique car ride, bring back the antique car ride attraction into the Dinosaurs Alive site, and we're going to see a completely new family ride in the park for that particular year. Next up, Cedar Point. And again, we're looking at an off year here, but again, I think it's preparation for 2023. Now, of course, there was a bit of jokey banter from Tony Clark on Twitter recently um, with the 2022 coaster sign uh, outside of a fence. Uh, they were kind of joking around a bit kind of thing. You know, there was loads of rumours about it, but it was a lot of jokes. However, I think 2023, however, would be the year. And I think that, again, we're looking at that antique cars area, the Frontier Town area, near the Cedar Creek Mine Ride. We're looking probably at that particular area, and I think that's a decent area of land to work with for maybe a single rail or a flyer from B&M or something like that. It would be nice, but I think we'll probably talk more about my predictions for that area in different videos and sort of go more about that as soon as we get more details on when that could be happening. Uh, but I think Cedar Point for this particular year will just have enough year and could prepare for the 2023 season. Next up, Dorney Park, and I think this one's a very easy prediction as well. Replacing the Stinger, we knew about this last year and probably the year before that kind of thing, uh, but mainly last year we knew about this. It's the Gravity Group wooden shuttle coaster, the Boomerang wooden co coaster, uh, replacing the Stinger. And also, I think, taking over the Possessed site as well. Many fans were sort of seeing that took over the Possessed coaster site as well. And I think that overall this would be a great investment for Dorney Park. And I think we are looking at a 2022 uh, opening for this particular coaster project. Next up, we're looking at King's Dominion and their SNS 4D free spin. We knew about this. Uh, it's got the bamboo themed supports from what we could see on site when the track and supports were in place on site. Uh, it's leading towards maybe a jungle theme or a dark horror jungle theme. Uh, it is replacing the crypt, their old top spin coaster. And of course, this is, in my opinion, a filler year 
ready for the future, where I think 2024, 2025, we could look at the replacement for Volcano the Blast Coaster, which is their old Interman Shuttle Inverted Coaster. Uh, but I think as a filler year, this is a nice, compact, thrilling coaster uh, for the park to keep them going for the next couple of years in that area of the park. Next prediction is King's Island, and again, we're probably looking at an off year here. I think we're looking at cleanups, TLC refurbishments, that kind of thing, uh, especially with them adding their B&M Giga Orion this year, uh, the last year, sorry. So uh, I think, again, TLCs, changes, lookups, anything like that. Maybe they add something to Soak City if they were going to add anything, but overall, just a very off year for the theme park. Next up, Knott's Berry Farm. Of course, they are adding uh, their Dark Ride this year, their Knott's Berry Tales. Um, of course, in the old Voice to the Iron Reef building. So I think, again, we're looking at an off year here for the park. It's way, way too. Again, changes, events, TLCs, adjustments, refurbishments, and uh, paint ops. And, um, again, maybe maybe some adjustments here and there. Maybe there is some little additions here and there in terms of um, infrastructure and, and park maintenance, etc. Michigan's Adventure. We know they're adding Camp Snoopy this year, uh, which is their uh, brand new themed area along with their uh, sort of kids coaster. Uh, but again, we'll look at an, an off year again. Uh, again, changes, adjustments, paint ups, TLC work, etc. If you guys have got any other predictions for these parts that I'm giving off years to, comment down below. But I really can't think of anything they're going to add in 2022 at the minute. Uh, but I think, again, we're looking at very much an off year look for the parks. And uh, Michigan's Adventure is another one. Valley Fair, again, I would love to see the B&M Invert come to the park in the next few years, but I think again in 2022, we're looking at off years. However, one thing I do want to say, and this is something I sort of uh, double check with Screamscape about, it's they've got, they've still got their plans to turn that sort of Excalibur area into like a Soak City expansion. Um, and sort of working on the, the entrance front as well, they've got some like plans or something for the entrance front. Um, obviously those plans are still active, we've been told from Screamscape, well I'll look on the Screamscape article, they're still active, uh, and I think the plans activity runs out in, in 2022. So again, this could be maybe preparation for a 2023 entrance infrastructure ref, um, expansion and refurbishment, as well as the addition of a Soak City attraction or two in that Excalibur area. So maybe again we're looking at that as a 2023 addition, but um, for now, at least, it will be an off year for Valley Fair. Finally, Worlds of Fun. We're looking at an off year for them as well. Changed adjustments, TLCs, paint ups. Um, overall, just an overall infrastructure and maintenance change to the park. Um, keep it fresh, keep it updated. Uh, maybe add some new food items if you were going to add anything. Maybe a new restaurant. Maybe they do like a, like a nice couple of new stalls somewhere. Uh, but I think overall, Worlds of Fun will have a very off year. And I'd like to see them add a new roller coaster in the future because I think that Worlds of Fun's a park that deserves a brand new roller coaster. I don't know what it would be, but I'd like to see them add a brand new roller coaster to the park. And I think that overall, Worlds of Fun may get that. But for now, at least, it will be an off year for Worlds of Fun. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is talk about Melon Entertainment's at Mill Entertainment, that's, that's tomorrow. See the fair um, 2022 predictions, early predictions. Now, again, like I said, it's very much um, off years for many parks. Kings Dominion getting a coaster, Dorney Park getting a coaster, Cedar Point and Canada's Wonderland may prepare for coasters, Carowinds getting an antique car ride. Uh, but overall, just that's what I'm thinking. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, stay tuned for, for the Mill Entertainment prediction video tomorrow. And uh, for now, guys, my name is Coast shall keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a cedar tastic day.